Hi, today I'm going to take you on a tour of my lawn care setup, which I run out of my van. Alright, so let's get started. So generally I take it out of the back of the van and I'll just go through to start with the equipment, what I have. So there's some trimmer line and some scissors to cut the line, some fuel, I have a Massport self-propelled commercial mower and then some uh, ramps to get that out. There's a whipper snipper, still FS55 and then a BG56 leaf blower fuel and oil mix for the line trimmer and the leaf blower and then spare fuel which can be used for anything. So I'll just point out that I have bags here, garden bags, which is for clippings. I don't actually remove clippings from properties except for on a couple of properties and but what I generally do with the clippings because I like to keep things simple is I either dispose of them in the green waste bin on the person's property or in a designated area in their garden. So I also have a tree saw just for cutting branches that might get in the way of mowing lawns. Alright, so let's come around here. And in here, I have a push mower. So I use this if I need to go up any stairs or if there's just sort of like a very small lawn. And or sometimes if I just want to go fast on a, on a, um, yeah, just a, on small lawns, I'll use that. Then I have over here, I have uh, weed treatments and uh, sp yeah, sprays. I have some oil for hedge trimmer blades, which I'll come to in a second. And I have some spare oil for mixing with fuel for the whipper snipper, the line trimmer and the blower. I have a trowel for digging out weeds quickly if I want to. And then I have here, two sprayers, one for lawn treatments and one for path weeds, etc. And then here I have a spare line trimmer they often can have problems, so I like to have two of them on hand so that I've always got something ready to go. And then hedge trimming. So I only offer lawn mowing, I offer weed treatments, and I offer hedge trimming. So here I have uh, a still HS45 hedge trimmer, and then I also have the still KM56 extendable pole trimmer in the pole there. So then I also keep uh, spares. I like to keep spares because if you have any problems, I don't want to have to go all the way home or to, get, to get more things. You should always just have things on hand. So I've got a spare pair of boots in case it gets wet and then I have a spares box over here which has things like a hat, a jacket, a full set of clothes in case it rains and gets wet. Then I have a dry set to put on, um, air muffs, um, spare water, spare gloves, all of that sort of stuff. So it's good to keep spares on hand. And then just a cheeky little thing up here, I have a little travel guitar so if I feel like playing a couple of songs in the middle of the day sometime and taking a break I can do that on the road. All right, so that's the van. I like to keep it super simple, and um, that's just how I do it. And obviously it's not for everyone, but I'm just gonna tell you the, the main reasons why I like to use um, a van for my lawn care business. Now I understand it's not for everyone, but really anything you do in life or business, it really comes down to what do you want and what's important to you. And so the reason I've had the van and started using the van for it is, um, you should just in everything in life, you, if, if you come from the place of what do you want, what's important to you, and you know that comes down to the partner you choose, where you live, the food you eat, the media you consume, and of course your lawn care setup. And so it should fit around your life and the business that you want. And like I say, this is not for everyone, it depends on your business, but this works perfectly for me and I really love it. So I'm gonna give you my three reasons why uh, I use the van for the lawn care business. So the first one is for the speed and simplicity. Now a lot of times I see guys with these trailers and big bulky trailers and it's slow, it's cumbersome, it's bulky, it's heavy, they're really, really big and they take up lots of area for parking so it can create a problem with parking because of course you need two or three car spaces and then if you go down a cul-de-sac, you have to reverse, all of that sort of thing. So for me, like I said before, I don't carry any garden waste or any green waste around with me generally. And so I don't need a big trailer. All I need is the smallest space possible. And so yeah, I just don't need a trailer. Uh, my priority is to be really, really fast. I like speed, to be nimble and to be flexible. So I can do everything I need to do in the van and it's uh, multi-purpose. The second reason I like it is for wet weather. So, you know, sometimes it rains, of course, and the van is enclosed. 
so the equipment stays dry when it rains and um also another benefit of that is that it locks up so you don't need to take equipment in and out of the van after hours it's just always locked up and permanently ready to go so there's no loading and unloading time with the van only exchanging fuel and so yeah that's that's another reason with the wet weather and um also that it's enclosed I, it's i like to be able to keep the equipment dry and it means if it starts raining i just can sit in the van and do whatever i want to do play guitar or whatever and the equipment's dry and i can i can if, if it's necessary if i'm out there doing it solo then i can wait until the weather clears up and then continue and everything's still dry and then the third reason comes down to personal lifestyle so my partner and i like adventure and we like camping and we like going van lifing if you don't know what van lifing is it just means you go camping in your van and um, we love to do that in the weekends we always have done it in the weekends and it's a lot of fun so it's really simple the equipment comes out a bed goes in and you're ready to sleep anywhere so we actually spent just as a side note we actually spent six months living in our van while running the lawn care business out of a storage unit and I'll make a separate video about that just to show you because it's it was kind of interesting a, a great experience lots of fun and uh, of course had its challenges but lots of fun and I'll make a video about that later so that's my reasons but like I say it always comes down to knowing what it is that you want and what is important for yourself and your business and then build your life and your business around that and that way you're more likely to be happy so I hope you like the video thanks for watching